Welcome to the Machinations of Muffins YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making wet bottom shoe fly pie. This is a traditional Pennsylvania Dutch recipe that was passed down to me from my great grandmother. We're going to start with three cups of flour, one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of butter, and one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add these to our mixing bowl and then use our pastry cutter to mix in the butter. Once you have the butter about pea-sized, we're going to take out one cup of that mixture and set it to the side. We're going to use it to top the pies at the end. To that crumb mixture, the larger portion, we are going to add one cup of molasses, one cup of hot water, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Mix this together, and then we're going to, in a separate bowl, make the mix for the bottom. In a separate bowl, you're going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda, one cup of brown sugar, and one cup of flour. Mix these dry ingredients together, and then add one cup of molasses, one cup of cold water, and one egg. Mix it well so there are no lumps, and we're going to pour this into the bottom of our prepared pie plate. Today we are using pre-packaged pie crusts. You're going to unroll your pie crust into your pie plate and smooth out the bottom. Now you're going to pour your second mixture into the bottom of the pie plate. This is going to give you your wet bottom for your shoe fly pie. Then add your first mixture on top. Do not mix them. Now, once you have both mixtures in the pie plate, we're going to sprinkle the reserved one cup of crumbs. This recipe makes two pies, so you're going to be putting half a cup of crumbs on each pie. Now, you're going to bake the pie at 350 for 45 minutes. If the pie still jiggles after 45 minutes, put it back in the oven for two to three minutes until the pie is firm when moved, and then you can remove it to cool. Our pies have been in the oven for a little over 45 minutes now, and we're getting ready to take them out. Here are our finished shoe fly pies.